This is the Knight Stoner 1, the L403 weapon system. This rifle has various ancillaries that make it extremely effective and versatile, and it's the newest piece of equipment that's being used by the UK Commando Force. The Royal Marines have been getting to grips with the rifle in Scotland and all it has to offer. The buttstock can adjust two inches so shooters can properly fit the rifle to their body which can improve mobility. It has a match grade two stage trigger which means after an initial amount of pressure is put on the trigger to prepare the weapon to fire or get it to its break point only a further small increase of pressure is needed to fire the weapon. This can enhance accuracy and make it smoother and faster to operate. The KS-1 has a direct impingement system. The straightforward description is that high pressure gas from the cartridge being fired is used to power the mechanism that disposes of the used case and inserts more ammunition into the chamber. Other types of rifles can use a piston for this action instead. Some of the benefits of a direct impingement system include a more accurate shot and a lighter weapon as there are less moving parts. For Royal Marines who could be operating in the heat of the desert or sub-zero temperatures in the Arctic, all the nuances of the KS-1 can result in a more practical and powerful commando force. And it doesn't stop there. It is lighter than previous weapon systems, uh, just over three kilograms. It is an AR platform. Uh, it can be fired ambidextrously, so it can fire fired uh, left or right-handed uh, for our left or right-handed firers or for CQB. Uh, it's fitted with a 1 to 10 variable optic scope uh, with the Vortex Eleanor uh, with a MRAD reticle as opposed to the bullet drop compensator. Reticles are markings built into the eyepiece of an optical scope to provide measurement references. You can get different variations depending on what you're using it for. The main difference between an MRAD reticle and a bullet drop compensator is that an MRAD can give you a specific point of aim at any distance, which means improved accuracy at increased distances, and you can use quick calculations to judge the distance of a target. Fitted with a Acro P2 uh, in point sight for close quarter battle. This produces a red LED dot that's used to aim at a target. It's static mounted and fully enclosed. One battery can last 50,000 hours over five years, more than double the longevity of previous options used by the military. And moving forward, we have the Voodoo S thermal inline sight uh, with polar four polarity settings, both black, white, and the edge detect, both in black and white. This thermal optic provides a level of detail the main body of the commando force has never had before. Different types of images are displayed on a screen inside to help troops gain more information on their surroundings and the battle space. It has a 0.5 to 4 zoom and the different types of thermal imaging options are to help manage eye fatigue. White hot, the heat source is highlighted in white. Black hot, the heat source is highlighted in black. And it's the same logic for white edge detect and black edge detect. It's fitted with a Wilcox flip over mount. So again, allowing the commando to observe and engage targets during the day quite easily. Moving forward, we have the suppressor. So it's a flow through design meaning that all the gas is pushed out the front and there's no blowback towards the firer. An immense amount of pressure propels a bullet down the barrel. 
The rapid expansion of hot gas and release of pressure as it leaves the barrel creates a loud bang and gases ignite, which produces a flash. Put simply, a suppressor catches the gas, cools it down and breaks it up. The pressure reduction technology in this suppressor reduces the firing sound by 12 decibels and reduces flash, which means the firer is harder to locate by an opposing force. So what do Royal Marines from 4-5 Commando think of the KS-1? Uh, the weapon system itself is quite intuitive to use. Uh, the control systems, both sides of the weapon, so they're really easy to pick up, use uh, from someone who's not, not, not used it before. Uh, compared to any, anything else we've used before ergonomically, it's uh, a lot more uh, stable, it's a lot more intuitive to use. Uh, the weapon system itself is better balanced. Uh, so for a user on the range uh, going forward into operations, it's going to be uh, a, lot, a lot better weapon system for us. Overall, it's a, it's a bit of a step change in the, uh, in the capability. The sight system itself, you know, you can, you can zoom into times 10 magnification on it, which is, uh, again, an enhancement over anything else we've had before. Yeah, a lot of the weight is, uh, is forward of, uh, of the magazine housing, whereas previously weapon systems we used, everything was sort of in the butt of the weapon. So for us to manipulate and throw the weapon around as we're, as we're running, it, uh, it makes it a little bit easier, a little bit, a little bit better for us to use. Whether it's working on covert missions, deploying to hostile areas, or anything the Royal Marine Commandos are needed for around the globe. The KS-1 is part of how they sustain and develop their role as the UK's elite fighting force. Bryony Williams, Forces News, Scotland. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.